And for the word this morning, let us all welcome our senior pastor, Bishop Hurley Montes. <laughs> okay. Salamat kaayo sa ginoo. No, God is a good God. And today, I would just like to uh, open this uh, uh, service karon pinagin ining uh, word. I would like to talk to you today on this topic, how to cross over in the midst of crisis. Unsao na to pagtabok kini as we cross over from 2020 to 2021. And uh, there are so many tingali frustrations in the last uh, year. Uh, we were so excited and now we were so hopeful that by the end of 2020, matapos na sana yung crisis natin, ang atong pandemic. But the problem is, uh, <laughs> nanapoy bago mga kagsuunan. And it seems very discouraging. And it seems mga kagsuunan nga, you know, maglisod ta o tabok, crossover, gikan sa 2020 to 2021. Tungon kay, we were so excited nga pag ta sa 2021, kining uh, matapos na unta. While our government was really trying to... Uh, make it no nga ang vaccine by the first quarter ni ini nga year ma implementar na unta but yet it will be dito na sa September so they said that the whole 2021 is still no naabag hapon ta ni ini nga crisis but we thank the lord hallelujah how he sustained us in 2020 the same god who was with us in 2020 is the same God who is going to be with us in 2021, mga kaigsunan. Amen? So let's just cross over. Hallelujah. So gikan sa 2020, mutabok na ta sa 2021. Ingnangin mong katupad, B. Welcome to 2021. Let's read our scriptures in Exodus chapter 14, verses 1 and 2, and then verse 4. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the children of Israel to turn back and encamp near P.I. Hahiruth between Migdol and the sea. They are to encamp by the sea directly opposite to Baal Ziphon. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and he will pursue them. And I will gain glory but I will gain glory for myself through Pharaoh or though Pharaoh or through Pharaoh and all his army. army, And the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. So the Israelites did this. May the Lord add blessing upon the reading of His word. I would just like to zero in this uh, underline na nako ng word in He. But I will gain glory for myself through Pharaoh and all his armies. I believe, brothers and sisters, God is saying to us today, I will gain glory for myself through this pandemic, through this COVID virus. God still is uh, going to receive all the glory and honor and all the peoples on the earth will know that there is God. And all the people on the earth will know that God is alive, mga kaigsuunan. So, this is the situation here sa mga Egyptuhan or sa mga Israelites as they start, uh, you know, coming out. They already started to the exodus to come out or to go out from the uh, land of Egypt, land of bondage into the promised land. Katong gisaad sa ginuo sa ila, mga kaigsuunan. And they were so excited, just like us. We were so excited nga matapos na ang 2020, mga kaigsuunan. But the Bible says, I will harden Pharaoh's heart. Murag harden sa ginoo kini nga COVID ba? Nga gigukod gihapunta? Noon sa man to si Paraon nga iya nauntang gibuhian, gi-release na mga kaigsuunan. He changed his mind. Through his advisors, nagaingon nga, sayang, wala na tayong mga slaves. And so, Let's pursue them. Ato silang gukuron. 
and at that particular time, mga kaigsuunan, they were already about to cross uh, that uh, Red Sea or dito sila nag encamp by the, you know, uh, seashore of the Red Sea. And uh, dun ay mga bukid and then they were camping. But the problem was there was a crisis. They thought that their crisis was over. Kainu nila nga natapos ng ilang crisis. And what was their crisis? It was Pharaoh. It was the slavery in Egypt, mga kaigsuunan. And they were following, running after them. And you know what happened? Hallelujah. There was commotion in the land. They were panicked. Nahadlok sila, mga kaigsuunan. Nabalaka sila. Tungod kay kainu nila. Tapos na ang paraon. Gigukod man ay sila. And maybe today, you are thinking, uh, tapos na unta kining COVID virus, na unsa ba, nga giharden man ang kasing-kasing, o gigukod man gihapunta, gikan sa 2020, 2021 na karon. There are three things here that I would like to share with you how to cross over in the midst of this crisis, mga kaigsuunan. Number one, Remember the past miracles in your present situation. Let us not forget what the Lord has done, not only on 2020, but even years before that. Daghantag mga milagro. We experienced the miracles, mga The problem with this Egyptian or the Israelites is that they panic. They thought that it was now the end of the world. Ingon sila ni sa verse 12. Exodus chapter 14, verse 12. Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone. Let us serve the Egyptians. It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Now, tanawa din hi mga kaigsuunan. Ilan ang gibasol si Moses? Ilan ang gibaso ng ilang leader. And they said, Di ba, giing nang mo or giing nang taka? Nga ayaw na lang mi. Pasag din na lang mi din sa Egypt. O kinabi din comfortable, uh, comfortable na mi dire. And then, giing nang taka? Unya, karon, we are now, gawas na ang tata sa Egypt. But we are only, only to die. Mamatay lang di ay mi. And they began to blame the leader. They began to blame, blame the man of God. But you see, kineng mga, mga Israelites, mga kaigsunan, the children of Israel, they forgot that just weeks before or days before, God performed miracles for them to deliver them, to save them. There were ten plagues, mga kaigsuunan, nga gihampak sa Diyos, nga to sa mga Egyptians, and how the Israelites were delivered. And especially the last uh, miracle that they experienced, the death of the firstborn children of the Egyptians. The Bible says that there was wailing in the camp or in the community of the Egyptians. But even in the community or in the camp of the Israelites, not even a dog bark. In other words, they were protected. And because of that, God delivered them. They forgot about it. Ilang kalimtan how the Lord saved them. They forget how the miraculous uh, power of God delivered them from the Egyptians, mga kaigsuunan. O ang ila karong yunahuna, Ang ila na lang kanunay nga gihunahuna ang kahadlok we are going to die mamatay na ta dinhi mas maayo pag dito na lang ta sa Egypt na matay but let me tell you brothers and sisters dili ka mamatay ing nang imong katupad dili ka mamatay hallelujah kanang pharaoh di na mo makapatay sa imo kanang pandemic dili na mo makapatay sa imo kanang covid di na makapatay sa imo igso on Hallelujah. Amen. Just remember what the Lord has done to you. We experience a lot of miracles. Don't forget about it. Hallelujah. Matud pani Albert Einstein. There are two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. 
The other one is as though everything is a miracle. Ang ato palang survival na sa 2021, milagro na na mga kaigsunan. Don't forget about it. The Lord sustained us. The Lord, you know, cover your family. So, if you don't see your miracle today, remember that you are a miracle that others could see. Ikaw mismo milagro ka. Hallelujah. The fact that you are still alive today, it's a miracle. And so, remember that, brothers and sisters, how He provided our needs. Diba? Sa miagi nga tuig, igsuon, there was a crisis not only sa mga health, sa balatian, kundi li igsuon, sa ato po nga mga finance, finances. Many of us lost our job. Many of us, maybe ang ato mga negosyo nga gisugdan, nga bankrupt, nga gisuon. Taghan na lang kaayo. Tungod kay everybody were affected. But we thank God. Hallelujah. Milagro gihapon, may kiksuunan nga naata. Ang ato pala nga situation or survivor, survival ni ini nga year 2021 is a miracle. Don't forget the past miracles that God has done in your life. Hinumdumi, pasalamatan nato si Lord. Kagahan kayo mga milagro nga angayan nato siya nga kapasalamatan. Instead nga mag-focus ta igsoon nga magbagot buta nga nung nahitabo naman eh. Asa naman ang gino? We had been praying about it. But remember mga kaigsunan, God said He allowed Pharaoh to pursue them so that His name could be glorified. So that the people in the world could see that there is God in heaven. Naini nga pandemic mga kaigsunan, this is the time nga daghang kay mga tao nga ming duol na sa ginoo. They now remember that there is God in heaven. We have to understand that we are not in control of ourselves. That is why we need to serve the Lord. Number two, remember the power of God is available for you. Don't just remember the past miracles, but God, brothers and sisters, is still powerful. Gamhanan gihapon ang Diyos. And it is available for us. Even this year, as we start this 2021, available gihapon ang pulong or ang power ni Lord sa ato mga kinabuhi. Check this out in uh, verses 13 to 16. Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm. And, I will, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring today. Do not be afraid. You know, kining kahadlok iksoon, mauni ang ming kumot, ming puga sa kasing-kasing sa kadaghan ng mga katawahan. But the Bible says, and this is the word of the Lord today, do not be afraid. You know, COVID has brought fear all over the world. Tungod kay, kinsa may dili, mahadlok ka, kada balita, kada uh, post sa social media, Puros COVID, kinsay effective o na, pila na ang infected, pila na ang nangamatay, mga kaigsuunan. And it will cause fear. But today, listen to me. As we start this year, hallelujah, atong kalimtan ang kahadlok, mga kaigsuunan. And let's stand firm. Let's believe in God. Atong saliga ng ginoo. And you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. You will see deliverance. God's power is still available for us today. Yes, na ay nangamatay. Wa ta makasabot nga nung gikuha sila sa ginoo. But it doesn't change the fact that God is still a miracle working God. He is a way maker. Hallelujah. And He will show us His miracle, mga kaigsuunan. Praise God. Bisan tuod, mga kaigsuunan. Ang mga ihiptuhanon, they pursued the children of Israel, it doesn't change the fact that God is still a miracle working God. He is still the same yesterday and today and forever. And the Bible says here, naging on the Egyptians, the Egyptians, she will say today, you see today, you will never see them again. Hallelujah. 
dunay katapusan ni ini nga COVID virus. And you will never see them again. The Lord, for the Lord will fight for you. Remember that. The Lord will fight for you. Don't be panic. You need to only to be still. Kalma lang. Inayin mong katupad, be relax lang. Ibutang diya sa inyong post, relax lang. Be still. Kadaghanan magun makigsuunan, mataranta na dayon taba. Wa na ta mahibaw kung nun si atong gihimo. There was a commotion actually in the camp of Israel. Pirting daghana igsuun. And they were so, you know, they were crying. They were so afraid. And just imagine, unsa kay hunahuna ni Moses, three million of them. Three million is ka mga tao. Daghan pa sa mga tao sa siyudad sa Dabao. And all, you know, simultaneously cried. And they said, may pag nangamatay na lang dito sa Egypt. May pagwa mi ninyo dad ah. But you know, hallelujah, this is the word of the Lord. The Lord will fight for you. Relax lang. Ayaw na lang pag himuhimu sa pa imong buhaton. The Lord will fight for you. Kung doon ay problema sa imong negosyo, igsuon, ayaw kabalaka. The Lord will fight for you. Be still and know that the Lord will fight for you. If you are sick in your body, Praise God. Nag-ubu-ubu ka na igsoon. Hallelujah. The Lord will fight for you. He's going to heal you. God's power is still available today. And then the next verse. Bisan pa si Moses, yung hilak na yun. Kisa bang lidira di maghilak ka na? Nga ang tanan niyang mimbro, tres milyonis kabuok, nagbagot-bot na, they were complaining against him. Blaming him. Hilak in town, si Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Ano, naghilak mang pagkadiha. Tell the Israelites to move on. Hallelujah. Move on. Hallelujah. Don't cry, mga kaigsuunan. This is now time to move on. 2021 na, you have to move on. Kuno sa may mga sitwasyon nato sa miaging at tuig, na ay mga problema, Nay mga casualties bakaha nini nga kalamidad igsuon move on we have to move on raise your staff and stretch out your hands over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground you know there was something in the hand of Moses and it was a staff did you remember when the Lord called Moses? Gikan ni atong burning bush. And uh, he said, Lord, how can the people know that you really sent me? How can I deliver the children of Israel? And the Lord asked him, what is in your hand? Unsay naa sa imong kamot. What is in your hand? And it was a staff. You know, brothers and sisters, God has provided us, each one of us, the solution sa ato mga problema. What is in your hand? Hallelujah. You have just to stretch, raise that hand, no? And it stretch over the sea and it will divide the water. Ang nahitabo, mga God, mga igsuon, ang sitwasyon, you know, they were at the bank or the seashore. Sa likod nila were the Pharaoh's army. Dini sa ilang kilid, naapoy dagko kayo mga bukid. Di na sila makasagka igsuon. It takes mountain climbers to climb the tree. And how can they climb those trees? Both sides. And so the only way out was the sea. That's the only way out. Lingi ka, dili na pwede kay naamay faraon sa likod. Sa kilid, naapoy problema. But praise God, even in the midst of the sea. Bisan pa ang dagat makaigsuunan, makahimo siya o agianan. That is why our song today, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Makahimo ang Diyos o highway in the midst of the sea, makaigsuunan. 
And of course, kung tulayan ni mo na nga dagat karon, it will take perhaps 10 to 20 years. But God can make a way when there is no more way. And let me tell you, brothers and sisters, today, if you are watching, and kitang tanan nga ni Adinhi sa atong simbahan, tingali, there is no way out. There is no way out. Wala nagilain nga padulngan igsuon. Kung wak na may laing kapadulngan, all you have to do is to move forward. Dili pwede nga mo backward ka. Dili pwede mo atras ka. Dili pwede mo balik ka dito sa Egypt. Because Pharaoh was determined to annihilate them all. Determinado si Pharaoh. Not, ang yung intention mga kigsunan was not really to bring them back to Egypt. But, you know, ang iyang pride mga kigsunan. Dako kaayo nga uh, gitawag og kauawan e to Egypt being the world power at the time. And he was thinking, what will the other nations think about us? So ang iyang tuyo igsuon was to really kill all the Jews. And salamat sa ginoo mga kigsunan. Bisag asa tamulingi, wa na tayo kapadulngan. The only way is to move forward. Even though ang naa sa imong atubangan, imposible, bisag dagat makaigsuunan. But as you step forward, God is going to make a miracle. Kung mula kang ka lang makaigsuunan, God is going to make a miracle. Did you remember Peter? Sa diha nga dito sila, sa tunga-tunga, sa lake, and there was a, a strong wind, wind, and the Lord was walking on the water. And they were so fearful Nahadlok sila ay suon. You know, mo gini, nature magig sa tao nga moabot ang kahadlok. There is always fear. And everybody were afraid because they thought that unsa man siya, multo ni. And Jesus said, don't be afraid. It is I. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. He was walking on the water. Naiba mo unsa gihimo mga kaigsuonan ni Lord. Aw ni Peter, inyong siya, Lord, kung ikaw na let me walk on the water. And Jesus said, come. Come to me. And because of that word, come, he stepped out from the boat and he did the first step. And you know what happened? God performed miracle. Hallelujah. Yes, there is a sea in front of you. It's an impossible situation, mga kaigsuunan. But as you stretch your hands and believe in God, step out, God is going to do a miracle. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, God has a solution for your present situation. Kung on saman ang imong sitwasyon karon, God has a solution. Maybe it could be very impossible. Sa natural igsuon, it was impossible. Or else they will be drowned. Sa diha nga mutray sila sa pagtabok. But you know what? God performed miracles. So remember, the power of God is still available to us. Dili pa man tingali available ang vaccine, but the power of God is available to us. Dili pa man tingali available Hallelujah. Ang tambal sa COVID mga kaigsuunan. Na napoy bago nga strength sa, you know, coronavirus. But we thank the Lord. God's power is still available for us. All we have to do is to believe. Don't be afraid, but believe. Hallelujah. Number three. Remember the purpose of your existence. Nga nung dili ta kinahanglan mabalaka igsuon bisag unsay mudangat tining kalibutana kina may plano ang Dios sa atong kinabuhi para sa mga Israelites they forget og tingali some of them they didn't know what was the plan of God what was the purpose of God for their lives kun atong balikan igsuon sa Genesis chapter 12 when God called Abraham si Abraham ang God was the father of the nation Israel. And this was God's calling to him. The Lord said to Abram, leave your country, your people, and your father's house 
and go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you and I will make your name great. This was the purpose why God, you know, raised the nation of Israel through Abraham. And that was the purpose of their existence. God chose a man so that this man, through this man, a nation will be born and then all the nations of the earth will be blessed through this man. That was the purpose. That was the calling of Israelites. They were not supposed to die. Kung naibaw lang sila sa ilang calling, dili sila dapat mahadlok na mamatay in the wilderness or drown in the ocean because God has a plan and a purpose for their lives. And remember that each one of us, all we have to do is to remember and to know that God has a plan. Na ay purpose ang Diyos sa atong mga kinabuhi, mga kagsuunan. So kung doon na may mga problema, if ever there is a crisis that is coming, or we are experiencing that crisis, let us always remember, God has a plan. God has a purpose for our lives. As far as Israel was concerned, His purpose and His plan was to bless all the nations of the earth. Because through this nation, God is going to send His Savior, His only Son, Jesus Christ, born of a virgin, dito sa nasod sa Israel, sa pamilya sa mga Hudyo. And because of Jesus Christ, all the nations of the earth are blessed. Ang salvation, mga kaigsunan, may abot ka na to, pinaagi sa pagpili sa Diyos sa mga Israelitas. Pero, the children of Israel missed this point. They didn't know the plan of God. They thought, ngang ila lang, they will live in slavery, serve the Egyptians, and die. Gani mga kaigsunan, ang ilang meaning lang yung sa kinabuhi. Mamatay naman lang ta din he. May pag dito na lang ta sa Egypt, kaya naapay mga memorial park. Lami pakaayo ang atong gitawag og mga lungon dito. Dili mga matay lang ta. But brothers and sisters, they forgot that their destination was not the wilderness. Their destination was the promised land, land of Cana, Canaan mga kaigsuonan. Og salamat sa Ginoo. Let us remember, God has a purpose for your life. God has a plan for your life. Ug ato ning hinumduman mga kaigsuonan, your purpose is greater than your problems. Hinum dumina. Kung naman kay problema karon, kung nasakit man ka karon or infected baka sa COVID virus, let me tell you, your purpose is greater than COVID virus. Your purpose is greater than this pandemic. Your purpose is greater than this crisis, mga kaigsuunan. God has a purpose for your lives. That is why, hallelujah, we can cross over. Let's move on. Mupadayon ta. Let me just read to you the result of this. Ang resulta, Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And at daybreak, the sea went back to its place. The Egyptians were fleeing toward it. And the Lord swept them into the sea. And the water flood or flowed back and covered the chariots and horsemen and the entire army of Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites into the sea. No one of them survived. But the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground with the wall of water on their right and on their left. That day, the Lord saved Israel from the hands of Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. Mga kaigsuunan, what a powerful God. They saw the power of God. Pharaoh and his armies were gone. Let me read again. 
So verse 4, I will happen, I will harden Pharaoh's heart and I will pursue them or he will pursue them and I will gain glory for myself through Pharaoh and all his army. And the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. So the Israelites did this. This morning, mga kaigsuunan, salamat sa ginoo. We can cross over. Whatever is our situation, as we start this year, 2021, we can cross over. Yes, Pharaoh is following us. Yes, the pandemic is following us even in 2021. But we will see the greater, uh, greater glory. Ayaw kalimot iksuon. Ayaw kahadlok. Una sa tanan, hinumdumi ang past miracles nga imong nasinatian. Huwag ang proof ni Ana, ikaw mismo na ginhawa pa ka. We need to be thankful to the Lord. Instead of murmuring, pasalamati si Lord. Secondly, God's power is available for you. Not only in 2020, but in 2021 and years to come. God is still powerful. And thirdly, don't forget, you have a calling. You have a purpose. Wala pa nato matapos ang atong purpose. So, dili ta pwede mamatay igsuon. Kung wala pa matuman ang atong purpose. You know, when Jesus Christ was in the middle of that uh, storm, it was so violent storm that the disciples were so panicked. But Jesus Christ was just, you know, sleeping. Natulog lang sa iksun, walang kabalaka. Krabi tuya, tuya, nagihampak na sa mga balud, na puno ng ilang sakayan. But Jesus Christ was sleeping. And the disciples said, don't you care that we perish? Nga naman mga kaigsunan, nga nung wak man mabalaka si Jesus, nasayod siya, nga naasay purpose. Nasayod siyang iyang kamatayon dito sa cross. Dili malumos. Lain ka ayaw magwalit na mga igsoon ang anak sa Diyos na lumos sa iyang pagpagigugma kanimo. Ha? Na lumos siya igsoon. Gibikogan. Dili igsoon. Naibaw siya nga. Ang iyang purpose was to go to the cross and die. So mga kaigsoon na ninyo sa dini akong kamatyan. Hallelujah. So, relax lang siya. Kaya nga naman, nasayod siya sa iyang purpose. Kung nasayod ka sa imong purpose, relax lang ka. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You must know your purpose. And let's remember, your purpose is greater than your problems. Hallelujah. Na ito yung ang ginawa sa atong kinabuhi. Let's sing that song one more time. You are here. Hallelujah. Working in our midst. Ania ang ginoo sa atong taliwala, mga kaigsuunan. Hallelujah. He is a way maker. Tingalitan aw nato muratag mga Israelites. Wa na'y agianan. Wa na'y kalutsan. But we thank God. He is our way maker. Hallelujah. Even though, ha, murag atong tanaw, mga kaigsuunan, nga, the word of God is not working. But He never stopped. He never stopped working. And I would like to challenge every one of us today, wherever you might be, diha sa inyong simbalay, bisag asa ka, dini sa Pilipinas, or wherever you are, Jesus Christ and God is here. God is here. Moving. God is there. God is here. Wherever you are, sing this song, God is here. Can you stand up to your feet and sing this song, God is here. You are here. You are here, moving in the midst. I worship you. Come on, let's worship the Lord. I worship you. You, you are, are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you.
doing, I don't feel it. You're working, you never stop, you never stop working. Never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. Never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. serving a miracle working God today as I close this message I would like to release blessing I would like to declare blessing to all of us and everyone who is watching with us today let us believe God let's expect God's best to happen in our lives, to our family. Hallelujah. Yes, maybe we faced a lot of problems. We are surrounded with so many problems today. Sa atong likod, sa atong kilid, bisag asa ta muli nga igsuon. Sa atong atubangan, muraglisod ka ayaw latasod. Let me tell you, our message today, you can cross over. All you have to do is move forward. God is saying to us, move on. 2021 now, let's move forward. Because the promised land is awaiting for us across the sea. And God is going to lead us in a dry ground. Hallelujah. I would like to pray for every one of us today. I would just like to release this blessing. Father God, I pray that you will bless every family nga naminaw karon nagwatch karon kig uban kanamo i pray o oh father god that you will bless every one of us yes lord murag hingukod si paraon sa amo sa 2021 murang hingukod ang pandemic sa amo gino sa 2021 but we thank you lord salamat lord nga ikaw kauban namo di lang mi mabalaka gino oh. We know, oh Father God, that you will see us through. Makatabok lagi, lagi mi Lord. I pray that you will bless every one of us today. Maybe you are sick right now, infected with COVID virus. Hallelujah. Remember, you have a purpose of your life. Hallelujah. Your problem, your sickness is greater than your purpose. God is going to heal you in the name of Jesus. I declare healing. And I declare protection over the people of God. Right now, sa 2021, hallelujah, among my experienceahan, ang daghang mga panalangin amidst of this crisis. We thank you, Lord, for your word today. Panalangini ang matag-usa ka In Jesus' name, amen and amen.